Hello, welcome to another episode of Roman's Rants. Conor McGregor has revealed that he is making his long-awaited comeback in April of 2024. McGregor, who hasn't fought in over two years since his fight in July of 2021, when he broke his tibia when taking on Dustin Poirier. The speculation is that when he returns, he will take on American star Michael Chandler in a UFC bout, but the date still has not been confirmed. McGregor has 22 wins of his 22 MMA bouts, uh, and he also took pay, play part. He also took part in one professional boxing match when he lost to Floyd Mayweather Jr. in 2017. McGregor, who is in Saudi Arabia for the Tyson Fury battle of the baddest fight with Francis Ngannou, explained he would be returning to the octagon soon, while he also revealed talks he had taken place over a boxing match against the legendary Manny Pacquiao. McGregor says, I'm in a great place. My body is fully healed and hopefully I'll be back. I would have loved a December fight. I would have dialed in, but I want to be honest, not just to myself, but also my fans. April is a lovely run up for me and I'd be happy with that. I'm in a good spot. I've been training. I've been leaving also, but I've been training and April seems like a good time to come back. It's almost three years now that I've been left from my way of living, so I'm eager to get back. McGregor then went on to explain how he would be looking to fight out in Saudi Arabia as combat sports continue to increase their presence in the kingdom. Now, I don't know if you've watched my video where I talk about how many sports are now not so much being played or fought in uh, the United States, especially places like Las Vegas, where we would assume that boxing and uh, MMA fights would be happening. No, instead, they're all going to Saudi Arabia because the money there is crazy, amazing, whatever, you know, adjective you want to use. Absolutely amazing. Um, McGregor added, one of us in the MMA sphere is going to have to put a dent in the boxing run. We're going to have to get in, switch the roles, and get a win. And now it's MMA time. I feel like I'm the person that can do it. His Excellency, Mohammed bin Salman, set myself and Manny Pacquiao together. There was a discussion. It was close for us to fight in Saudi Arabia about two or three years ago now. So not something I heard about, but hey. I'm sure we'll pick where we left off. MMA is where I have lined up right now, so that's where I'm at. Saudi Arabia, the Kingdom, and UFC have a deal, so it's growing. I'm up for anything. Pacquiao is now 44 and is regarded as one of the greatest professional boxers of all time, but retired in 2021. The Filipino, also known as Pac-Man, has since moved into politics and has a sensational record of 62 wins from 72, 72 fight, fights, including 39 wins by knockout. Pacquiao is the only eight division world champion in the history of boxing and has 12 major world titles in his name. Now tell me, are we going to see a totally different outcome this time with McGregor winning over a boxer, an MMA fighter winning over one of the best boxers? Um, Tell me what you think in the comments section. This is going to be an interesting fight. Um, both of them are older. McGregor's still younger than Pacquiao. But, you know, I'm sure the money talks. So subscribe to Robus Rants. Hit the like button. Again, tell me what you think in the comments section. And I'll keep you up to date on this and more sports news.